Hello everyone, my name is Alperli, I'm from Turkey. Here is my presentation subject is Fuzzy Clustering Based Regression Model Forecasting, weighted by Gustafsson Castle Fuzzy Clustering Algorithm. Here is the constants of the presentation. First, introduction, then weighted regression analysis, fuzzy clustering analysis, fuzzy clustering validity index, fuzzy clustering based regression models, application and discussion. Regression analysis is one of the well-known methods of multivariate analysis and efficiently used in many research fields, especially forecasting problems. The method won't be efficient if the assumptions are not provided that a contain nonlinear structure or data have outliers. In order to solve these kind of problems, nonlinear regression models, weighted regression, robust regression or kernel function are typical examples of such methods have been proposed. Weighted regression is a method that you can use when the least squares assumption of constant variance in the residuals is violated. With the correct weight, this procedure minimizes the sum of weighted squared residuals to, produ to produce residuals with a constant variance. The model under consideration can be given as below, where now epsilon is assumed to be normally distributed with mean vector 0 and non-constant variance covariance matrix. If we divide the reciprocal of each variance, sigma square, as a weight with w inverse of sigma square, then let matrix w be a diagonal matrix containing these weights as seen below. The weight of this square estimates is then can be given in the formula. With this setting, we can make a few observations. First, since each weight is immersed proportional to the error variance, it reflects the information in that observation. So, an observation with small error variance has a large weight since it contains relatively more information than an observation with large error variance. And the second, the weights have to be known up to proportionally constant. Weight in this squares regression is not associated with a particle type of function used to describe the relationship between the process variables. Instead, weight in this squares reflects to the behavior of the random errors in the model, so that it can be used with functions that are either linear or nonlinear in the parameter. Fuzzy clustering analysis approach comes into picture as an appropriate method when the clusters cannot be separated from each other distinctly or when some units are uncertain about membership. For the clusters are the function modifying each unit between 0 and 1, which is defined as the membership of the unit in the cluster. The units, which are very similar to each other, hold their places in the same cluster according to their membership degree. The invention of fuzzy clustering over classical clustering methods is that it provides more detailed information on data. On the other hand, it has disadvantages as well. Since there will be too much output when there are too many individuals and clusters, it's difficult to summarize and classify the data. Fuzzy C means is one of the well-known fuzzy clustering methods. The objective function used for this clustering method is as follows. This function is a weighted least square function. N parameter represents the number of observations and C represents the number of clusters. U is the membership of X in the cluster key. G value is a measure of the total of all weighted error sum of squares. The purpose is to obtain the solution cluster prototypes U and minimize G function. The prototype of FCM algorithm can be given as in the formula. Gustafsson Castle method algorithm is a fuzzy clustering algorithm developed to identify Alps like clusters instead of global clusters. The fuzzy C means method does not give good results in such clusters. Mahalanobis distance is used instead of Euclidean distance in this fuzzy clustering method. 
More precisely, denoting U, the influence of point E on cluster R, the cluster center and covariance matrix are computed as formulas below. Gustavo Kessel algorithm, instead of S, it uses matrices, which are computed according to the following equation called fuzzy covariance matrices. The aim of clustering analysis is to put similar objects into the same groups. In many clustering algorithms, it's hard to know the actual number of clusters before replication. In studies based on real data, if the researchers do not have preliminary information about the number of clusters, it cannot be known whether the number of clusters which calculated is more or less than the real number of clusters. The dimension processes of the optimal number of clusters are generally called as cluster validity. So, after clustering processes are carried out to validate of the number of clusters which calculated can be determined. In the study, it's used artificial neural network based validity index. Fuzzy clustering based regression models works by incorporating extra non-negative constants or weights associated with each data point into the fitting criterion. The size of the weight indicates the pre precision of the information contained in the associated observation. Optimizing the weighted feeding criterion to find the parameter estimates allows the weights to determine the contribution of each observation to final parameter estimates. As we look up the literature, Sato Illich used fuzzy Siemens method as a weights for the weighted regression analysis. Hedway and Bezek used fuzzy clustering as switching regression models. Huan Tsun used FCM method for support vector regression models. In this study, it used Gustafsson Kessel method to determine weights for the weighted regression analysis. Gustafsson Kessel method is based on the minimization of the sum of weighted square distance between data points and the clusters. With the fuzzy clustering method, each observation value is bound to the specific clusters in the specific order of membership. This membership decrease will be calculated as weights in the weighted regression analysis and the estimation work will be done. The estimate of least square of parameters is obtained as follows. In this formula, it's used the feature of gustafsson kessel fuzzy clustering and U matters shows the weights of object to a cluster K. So we can use the U matrix directly for the weights of weighted regression as given in the formula. In application, Gustavo Kessel algorithm is used for different types of simulated data structures. Some simulation data is full nonlinear structure, some of them has linear variables, and some of them has outliers. Finally, the real-time data is used to test the power of the method. The results of some methods have been used to test the effectiveness of gustafsson kessel method. These methods are ordinary square, weighted regression, which weighted by inverse standard deviation, fuzzy C means, robust M estimator and robust S estimator. For compression of these methods, it's used root mean square of error. Data one has three variables and 12 observations. As we can see from diagram, dependent and one of the independent variable has non-linear non structure. After fuzzy clustering method is applied, it has been found a tree cluster. Separation graph of the variables are shown below. With the help of cluster memberships for each observation, weighted regression forecasting with gustafsson kessel will be done. Model parameter estimation with all methods can be given show above. RMSE results for all methods is given in the table. As for the results, ordinary square result is the minimum and Gustavo Kessel value is the second and it's very close to ordinary square. Data 2 has 3 variables and 12 observations. As we can see from the diagram, both independent variables has non-linear structure and dependent is not. After fuzzy clustering method is applied, it has been found a tree cluster. Separation graph of the variables are shown below. RMSE results for all methods is given in the table. As for the results, ordinary least square is the minimum, but 
Fuzzy cluster based model are the worst. Data tree has three variables and 12 observations. As you can see from the diagram, dependent and one of the independent variables has nonlinear structure. After fuzzy clustering method is applied, it has been found two cluster. Separation graph of the variables are shown below. RMSE results for all methods is given in the table. As for the results, ordinal least square is the minimum and Gustavo Kessel is the third. But weighted regression is very bad score. Data 4 has 3 variable and 12 observation. As we can see from the diagram, the dependent variable has a linear structure. Both independent variables have non-linear structure and one of them has outlier. After fuzzy clustering method is applied, it has been found two cluster. Separation graph of the variables are shown below. RMSE result for data 4 is in the table. As for the results, order least square is the minimum and Gustavo Kessel is the second. S estimator is the worst. Data 5 has 3 variables and 12 observations. As we can see from the diagram, all variables have linear structure. After fuzzy clustering method is applied, it has been found four cluster. Separation graph of the variables are shown below. RMSE result for data 5 is in the table. As for the results, ordinary lead square is the minimum. FCM and Gustavo Kessel are the worst as expected. Data 6 has 3 variables and 12 observations. Dependent variable has 2 outlier. After fuzzy clustering method is applied, it has been found 3 cluster. Separation graph of variables are shown below. RMSE results for data 6 is in the table. As for the results, ordinary square is the minimum and Gustavo Kessel is the second. Real-time data is Turkish inflation data and have 6 observations with 5 variables from January 2005 and December 2009. In the data, Turkish inflation is the dependent variable and two-term lagged inflation, expectation survey for inflation, dollar exchange rate and unemployment rate are the independent variables. Separation diagram for variables is below. After fuzzy clustering method is applied, it has been found five cluster. Separation graph of variables are shown below. RMSE results for inflation data is in the table. As for the results, M estimator has minimum RMSE and Gustafsson Kessel is the third minimum value. 15 observation of Turkish inflation data from January 2010 to March 2011 were estimated to test the predictive power of obtained models. As for real estimate results, M estimator has the minimum. And Gustavo Kessel is the third value. So, in the regression analysis, heterocadastic problem reduces the reliability of forecast values. Weighted regression analysis is proposed to solve such problems. This method, which is made by adding a weight matrix to the calculation of the regression coefficients, aims to solve the problem of heterocadastic. The weight matrix is usually calculated by multiplying by inverse of standard deviation or inverse of variance. Cluster membership degrees obtained from fuzzy clustering method are used as weight matrix in this study. The gustavsson kessel method was used in the study in contrast to the work done by uh, fuzzy semen in the literature. The proposed method is applied to six simulations and a, a real data set. It can be said that the method succeeded in non third structures. The results are more successful than the classical weighted regression and FCM awaits to solve the problem of heterocadastasy. Here is my references. Thank you for listening.